the Mysterons, sworn enemies of Earth. Possessing the ability to recreate an exact likeness of an object or person. But first, they must destroy. Leading the fight, one man fate has made indestructible. His name, Captain Scarlet. Escort vehicle calling. Everything okay, Macy? Yeah, everything's fine. They're making good time. Some job that driver's got, shipping atomic bombs around. It's not a bomb, it's a nuclear device for civil use. Well, what's the difference? It'll still make a mess of the city if anything went wrong. Oh, relax. What can go wrong? Have you gone crazy? I can't hold it. I just can't hold it. It's out of control. It's out of my control. This is the voice of the Mr. Ons. We know that you can hear us, Earthmen. You attacked our complex on Mars, and you will pay a heavy price. Our next act of retaliation will be to destroy the city of London. Do you hear, Earthmen? We will destroy the city of London. Macy, can you hear me, Macy? Ah, it's no good. The radio's dead. I'll try and pass. We've got to stop him. He's going too fast. He's not going to make that next turn. Escort vehicle to HQ. We've lost contact with the transporter. Repeat, we have lost contact.
East end of Park View. Negative. Nothing. After two and a half hours, nothing. A 120 ton transporter doesn't just vanish into thin air. We have every available man working on it, sir. I don't care if it takes every man we've got. That atomic device must be found. What's the score on the radioactivity check, Captain? That's out, I'm afraid, Colonel. The transporter is heavily lined with lead. No detectable radiation can get through. Have you checked on the trigger mechanism? Yes, sir. It's a five-key electrical trigger with built-in safety circuits, timed for a 12-hour detonation. But you need the five keys to set it, and each one is held by a different person. Well, that's something. I want that transporter, or the driver, or both, found and fast. Understood? Yes, sir. Sir. The Mistrons intend to destroy London. A high destruction ratio nuclear device vanishes. The conclusion's obvious. Lieutenant Green? Yes, sir. Make this a red alert. This is a red alert, not a stroll around the deck. Move! This is Macy. Are you receiving me? Over. Come in, please. Is anyone hearing this? Over. It's dead. take you through till six. It only remains for me to wish you a very good night. Good night, everyone.
Thirteen. Thirteen. Who's there? Break. Colonel White. What is it, Lieutenant? Captain Scarlett has arrived. Come in, Captain. What's the news on the driver? Uh, he's in one piece, but he's pretty shaken. Captain Blue's bringing him to Cloud Base. Where exactly was he found? In a side street near the river, about an hour ago. Right. When he arrives, take him straight to the conference room. How do you feel, Macy? Much better, thank you, sir. I realize you've been through a good deal. But we need your help. Just try to tell us everything you remember. Take your time. Well, it started late last night. I guess it was around dawn. Go on. I came to in the street. How I got there, I just don't know. Well, I was wondering what to do when your people came along in the car. You know the rest. Thank you, Maisie. You've had a bad time. Dr. Fawn will take care of you and cut I it. I realize you've been through a... Well, we've heard it through twice. There's not a lot to go on, sir. It's all we've got. The computer tells us that there are about 2,000 car parks in London fit Macy's description. I don't care if there are two million. It's got to be found. Check every word Macy said and then start over and check it again. It's now 0900 hours. The fuse was set just after midnight. That gives us three hours. <laughs> Lieutenant Green, do we have the lab report on Macy's clothing? It's just come in, sir. Nothing significant. Nothing to help us find the transporter. We're missing something. I know we're missing something. <laughs> sir. I think I've got it. Lieutenant, let the colonel hear from 904 feet. I know it sounds fantastic, but it struck 13. Are you certain about this? Sure. I had no idea of how long I'd been out, so I counted pretty carefully. It was 13. 
He'd been through a rough time. Anyone in his condition could have miscounted. Right. That's what we assume. Now, let's assume Macy counted correctly and heard Big Ben strike 13. What's the only explanation? I'm with you, Captain. Lieutenant Green, project central London. Program a circle using Big Ben as center. And how far do you calculate, Captain? Well, let's see. Uh, 760 miles per hour. Uh, well, it's no more than 1,500 yards. Use a 1,500-yard radius. How many car parks within that area, Lieutenant? Only two that fit the description. One in Jupiter Way, the other in Park View. Let's go, Captain Scarlet. I don't get it. I'll explain later. You have less than an hour. Have the police cleared the street? Just the immediate area. A large scale evacuation was impossible. We've checked out the Jupiter Way car park. It's not here. SIG, Captain Oker. Well, looks like it's our baby. We'll soon know. There it is. I'll blow the door. We've located the transporter. Request defusing procedure. The computer checked on this, Captain. It's a long, tricky procedure, and there just isn't time. The transporter was scheduled to deliver the device to a construction site about 10 miles from your present position. You will drive the transporter there and take it down to the prepared excavation two miles underground. It can be safely allowed to detonate at this point. Is that understood? SIG, Colonel. Your route has been cleared. You have just under 19 minutes. But one more thing. Captain Scarlet drives the transporter alone. But, Colonel, I... That's an order. Good luck, Captain. Let's go. I'll lead the way. Keep your foot down. Every second's gonna count. <laughs> Come on. How much further? We must be near. Drive straight into the elevator. I'll get to the control panel. Thank you. 
Closing the doors now. Hold tight. I'm sending her down flat out. Come on, get down there. Brace yourself for the impact. Time's running out. Get back in that lift. Hurry it up. Take her up. Captain Scarlet, are you all right? I will be, Captain. I will be. You get quite a view from up here. It could have looked a lot different. Yes. Say, you never did explain how you pinpointed that car park. I've been waiting. For what? Midnight. Now. Macy was in the car park, which is a few yards down the street from this restaurant. He was sure he heard 13. And this could only happen at a distance of around 1,500 yards from Big Ben. Right. But I still don't see how he heard 13. We're sitting about a mile away from Big Ben. And the chimes we are hearing are taking approximately four and a half seconds to reach us. Right. Well, Macy said he turned on his radio, remember? Yes. All right. Let's do the same. You count, Captain Scarlet. All right. That's two. Three. Now we're hearing the chimes instantaneously over this radio. The radio's here. Big Ben's over there. I think I'm beginning to understand. Good. Now sound travels at 760 miles per hour. That's seven over the radio, but only six live from Big Ben. But Big Ben is 1,500 yards away, so it's four and a half seconds behind the radio. The radio is one chime ahead. Ten. Now listen. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. That last chime came live from Big Ben. Thirteen. I'll make that my lucky number. <laughs> 